Got this letter of yours by mistake. Uh, guess it got into the wrong envelope. A mix-up in the mail brings two men together, an urban gay man and a rural straight cowboy, each on opposite sides of gay rights issues. So you're a homosexual. Dear Mr. Klein is a new play set in Alberta during the late 1990s. The Klein government was uh, threatening to use the notwithstanding clause to uh, shut down the Supreme Court ruling in favor of gay rights. Bruce Chambers got the idea for Dear Mr. Klein after writing a letter of protest to the Premier. So I got a letter back from the Premier's office that was addressed to me, but I opened it up and it was a letter addressed to somebody in rural Alberta, which meant that my letter with my address on it had been sent to somebody in rural Alberta with the information that I was in support of gay rights. How did you ever get involved in this whole gay thing, Chris? The play is a fictional look at what would happen if these two men actually met. Steve Jin is part Asian, part Aboriginal. He knows from personal experience what it feels like to be different. I grew up, I would say, with a lot of racial discrimination when I was growing up in a small town, and I think that actually prepared me a lot for the discrimination I later felt being a gay man. Like the character he portrays, Chad Nobert is straight, but says he has friends who are gay. Why ostracize them because of their sexual preference, you know? Uh, it's my belief that you should get to know everybody and anybody, no matter who or what they are, race, religion, creed, whatever. Even so, the playwright says Alberta has a long way to go in its battle for gay rights. I think that um, Mr. Klein who I think probably is a very open-minded person and, and doesn't really have anything against gay people at all, I think that he and his government are political opportunists and feel that they need to appeal to the small-minded bigots who they think make up a large portion of the population. They feel that may, they need to appeal to them in order to get re-elected. And they do it, um, you know, in this election and the election before. Ralph must be using his cabinet ministers to stuff envelopes these days. Dear Mr. So Klein so is more than just politics. It's also about understanding. Sorry, yeah. Lorna Sandberg, CBC they News, Calgary. It's, it's likely a pretty simple thing. Sure. Okay.